And when you started Ghost Drops, uh, you and the other people involved in it, was the plan always try to make that move to the legal market? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Really? When so we start, when we started, it's about like, you know, understanding, you know, like, obviously, look, I sold drugs my whole life. My partner sold, <laughs> other partner sold drugs. My whole life. But like, this shit is not like foreign to us in that sense. But like, mm. you know, when we put a brand behind it, like that was the purpose of it, right? Like we weren't just doing it to throw a name out there and hopefully it just like, become something like nah like this was the goal i don't know if you could tell like if you follow ghost drops in the black market like we we're very meticulous on how we did a lot of things right and the point of doing that was because i seen these gaps in the market that weren't really being catered to on the, on the black market you know as far as transparency marketing just like a lot of things that you know the average consumer would want to feel when purchasing cannabis right like we all take pride in it and i felt like there wasn't a company in canada that a lot of people were taking pride in and uh, you know, we we just started fucking from the bottom, bro. You know, a cell phone, a couple pounds, and flipping. It and <laughs> so you know what I mean. That's a company in Canada, and you know it is what it is. We're not trust fund kids. We're not and like that bunch of kids that like you know we're we're passionate about this shit, like minded, and and had our goals set for it, right? And. <laughs> We enjoy the culture. We love the culture. And I think that's one thing I've, you know, kind of taken a lot of pride in in my life is building culture around things. And, you know, obviously battle rap and cannabis are so synonymous with each other that it was just a perfect fit. You know, me even wondering what I want to do with battle rap, how I'm going to continue in my life. Like, it just made a lot of sense, bro. Like, it allowed me to still focus on battle rap. You know, Ghost Drops allowed me to carry King of the Dot through a lot of tough times, you know, financially, yada, yada, mm -hmm. yada was a real support system for King of the Dot and making a lot of people's favorite battles happen. You know what I mean? Yeah.